Hello everyone, in this video I'll explain how my climbing mechanism works. Many mechanisms I've seen for this task are somewhat bulky and need at least one motor. This mechanism does not use any motors and is relatively small. Here's the mechanism by itself. It, it is powered by two pneumatic cylinders that open and close the claw, lifting the robot off of the ground. A tank holds compressed air in order to power the cylinders. To add this compressed air, I manually pump the air into the tank before the match starts. A switch will control the claw, making it open or close. When I start the program, the claw starts in a closed position in order to fit under the pull-up bar. At this point in time, I've not done the driving under the pull-up bar task yet, so we accomplish that first. As the robot passes under the pull-up bar, it flips the switch, causing the claw to open. The robot will then drive back under the bar in the opposite direction, but since the claw is up, the switch will flip and it will close the claw, lifting the robot off of the ground. I carefully positioned the claw above the center of gravity. This allows me only to use one claw in order to lift the robot up completely. If I did not do so, one side of the robot would still end up touching the ground. I also had to make sure that my switch was high enough in order to trigger when driving under the bar, but not so high that the robot would get hung up and unable to drive under the bar. Here is a demonstration of the robot climbing the bar. The link in the description below goes to my robot in three days video that I built. Let me know what you would like me in that video to explain next. I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.